With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. I'm guessing shortly after records started being kept, the saying records are made to be broken was spoken for the first time. Yesterday, the University of Mary baseball team had four all-time records broken. Three of them were accomplished by Jonathan Dreheim. The senior right-hander set new career marks for starts, wins, and shutouts. Dreheim had a complete game shutout with eight Ks against Crookston. It's not something that I'm like, I need to need this to happen. I worry about the team winning first and foremost, but to have that stuff come along with it, that's, that's pretty special to, you know, we miss our COVID year, but to be able to come back for a fifth year and uh, start my masters and get to some of those records. And it's, it's pretty special and I'm, I'm honored and thankful that the university gave me this opportunity. And it's been so cool to watch Johnny grow up, um, you know, from, from when we first got here to the Johnny that you see now. It's just so, so mature on the mound. Um, you know, he can weather the storm. He can, you know, throw any pitch in any count. You're not going to see a fastball in a fastball count. Uh, competes really, really, really hard. Um, and, and no, it's cool. It's, it's somebody that really, really deserves, like, kind of the legacy that he's built here. The other record set yesterday was home runs in a single season for a team with 52. When looking at the conference standings, the Marauders are four games out of a playoff spot. We've put ourselves in a, a situation where um, our back's kind of on the mat and we got to sit here and, and, and swing. And um, like I said, I don't think we've, uh, we've performed to the level that, that we expected and, and our, our kids expected. And, um, you know, I think... Uh, we got, we got a chance here, and, and um, yeah, that, that line is, is, is looming. Well, the line he's talking about is the top eight in the conference make the playoffs. Umary has 13 games left in the regular season schedule. Next up is Saturday in St. Cloud. It's the high school all-star event that started them all. The Lions All-Star Basketball Series is in July each summer, and it features the top graduated players in the state. Century has four athletes who will compete the most for any school. Three boys and one girl are representing Class A. Bergen Kinnebrew is a Miss Basketball finalist and a two-time first-team All-State player for the Patriots. Ryan Erickson was a finalist for the Mr. Basketball Award. He, along with his teammates, William Ware and Anthony Doppler, are on the boys' team. The fourth local player on the Class A boys' roster is also a Mr. Basketball finalist, Dickinson's Alex Dvorak. The Demons' Peyton Newmeller, Emily Ash of the Midgets, and the Sabres' Alyssa Eckroth are All-Staters as well. Carson Jablonski is an alternate. The local players on the Class B side are Talon Batke of Hazen, Garrison's Connor Kurzman and Jay Wansick from Shiloh with Josiah, uh, uh, Joshua rather, um, Mosier as an alternate. Kidder County's Kennedy Harder, Haley Quam of Shiloh and Bowman County's Ellie Powell are on the girls' roster. Nora Ensi and Harris Beauchamp are alternates. The Twins and the Red Sox wrapped up their series this afternoon and it only took three pitches in the home half of the first for Boston to take the lead. It's Alex Verdugo taking that one over the wall out in right field, so Boston out in front, but it got a lot worse for Kenta Maeda in the second inning, 112 mile an hour liner off his leg. Now he made the out at first, but that was his final pitch of the day, and he's uh, making his first season back after Tommy John. Then the Red Sox scored 10 of the next 15. Emilio Pagan was his usual self, which is not good. And Boston won by the final of 11 to 5. 112 miles an hour. Ouch. That hurts. Ouch. That would leave a bruise. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll be right back after this.